Porn Stars or People podcast with Dan Frigalant. I'm here with Sarah Jesse. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've come to your home, so now it's uh, it's it's more about it's more about you than us. Uh, oh. Thank you for doing this. Uh, how was your weekend going so far? You you did the Sapphire thing in New York. I did. You're in New York for an extra day. I'm here in a hotel in New York. I um, danced at Sapphire 60 um, last night. Yeah, it was fun. How is it? So what's the... Um, how does that experience go? I like I, the, as an outsider. Mm-hmm. I've never, I've obviously never stripped. What do you, what do you mm-hmm. walk into in that situation? You're, you're feature dancing. Uh huh. Is it like you get way more benefits of a fan base and all this other stuff than like than like just somebody who works there every Monday, right? So what's the, what mm-hmm. do you walk into? Right. Yeah. Um, so when you're a feature, they treat you really well, and they um, put your advertisement up that you're the feature porn star. Um, yeah, they, they pick me up at the hotel. It's only a block away, but they still pick you up. So yeah. I want to make sure you're safe. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, I can <laughs> literally see the club. And they're like, no, no, no. They have to drive you and make sure you're safe. Uh, yeah, they pick me up in a limo. Yeah. So I have an entire limo. Is it like, is it, it's kind of like a waste of a limo, right? Like, you're, like <laughs> you're, you ever, uh, have you ever gotten bumped to first class when the flight's only like two hours? And you're like, this is a, this is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have done that I don't before. I have time to drink uh, the champagne. I know, right? Yeah, so You get totally. the limo, you get in the limo. So I do a little Snapchat. Hey, I'm in the limo. Hey, I'm in the limo. Oh, we're here? Hey. Oh, okay. And then we're there. <laughs> and then they walk me in and then they take me to my, um, my dressing room. You get your own room. I get my own room, yeah. and um, and they actually took me there like three hours early last night. Yeah. So what's your pre what's your pre show like ritual? I'm not sure why I was there so early. I'm not usually, <laughs> but um, so I just sat at the bar and drank and drank some champagne and no shit tequila you shots. Get, <laughs> you get fucked up. Do you get fucked up before you go on? I wasn't like fucked up. I was just like little buzz and yeah. then wait for the show and then the show is just three songs that's it right i mean that particular club some other clubs you have like two or three shows right during the night but that was just um three shows and then uh tips do the private, private lamp dances. dances i get my own private room for the yeah for the lap dances so we could pretty much you know have have it to yourself so do you yes. you come here <laughs> enough where you have like a base of clientele like you always know when you're like your people are going to be there yeah yeah i've got regulars who come to see me that's mm-hmm. cool yeah they're always nice what are your three me. songs oh it always varies last night i did like this kind of bondage like fetish outfit with like a whip okay. so i played uh snm rihanna okay and it's I so funny for some reason i knew you were gonna uh you know it's gonna say that, that. Yeah, yeah, i yeah, can't yeah. really think of another like song like that and then i played Oh fuck! What did I play? I played some new Cardi B, I think. Okay. Song. I don't know. Just hip hop. So it doesn't yeah. matter. You don't. You don't care that much. What I. Song it I is. always choose my songs, but I, it varies. Yeah. I don't really stick to the same ones. Just yeah. Whatever I'm in the as mood a, for. So. As a comedian, we very rarely get intro music. So I'm like, "What do you want your intro music?" Oh, really? Like, we're like, wait, what? I don't. Um, I don't know. Fuck it. Oh, what would you choose? I right now I pick like uh, um I pick like very um. Like chill stuff. Like like I was in South mm-hmm. Africa and I was coming out to "It's a Vibe" by uh, uh-huh. uh, uh, Two Chains. Uh-huh. It's just a very slow That's like because a lot of people come out to like uh, like, uh, uh, like "Pass the Cavassier" mm-hmm. or like uh, uh, like just heavy Busta Rhyme stuff. Oh really? And like. <laughs> That's okay. hard. You, like it's hard to match that energy as a comedian. Like especially like you can't come mm-hmm. out that hard on your first joke, right? It's like mm-hmm. even even with what you're doing, you can, like maybe I don't know. Maybe you can come out real hard. I like to come out hard. But you don't want to blow all your energy <laughs> in the first and like, then, 30 like seconds. And then like slow it down a little, and yeah? then get the energy back. Okay. Up. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, because I have a pretty high energy show. Like I'm fucking with the audience mostly, yeah? and just like grabbing them and like whatever. Yeah. Bring them on, or what's? What I the, try what, to. What are, your, what are the rules? rules for you do you have any rules that you can and cannot do when you're on that stage it's all about the rules of the club yeah. because like some clubs you can grab a girl do some girl girl like or you can grab a guy like but then some clubs don't want you to some yeah. clubs you can have a dildo on stage some clubs are like so what's no, sapphire rules just they're pretty strict yeah yeah but um yeah, New York. What is it? New York. If there's booze, no, no pussies. Yeah, they, yeah. You can't do any of that. They're, I grew up in New York. I know. I, I know. <laughs> they've been the rules for it. Like I could put my tits in their face and yeah. like, stuff oh, like that. Oh, is that, that. Is that a thing? You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to be able to touch anybody from stage. Girls who work there 
can't, but we don't wow. have to really follow the rules. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah, I just make it fun, interact yeah. with everyone, and have a good time. Yeah. Well, Basically. how do you? So yeah. how do you feel about how do you feel about the feature dancing? Is it a thing that you wanted to do always, or or it's just something that that um, that like came up because you're doing the, uh, the mainstream stuff? Um. Well, actually, I was starting it really late because I've been doing um, porn for like 10 years. Yeah. And so I should have been doing feature dancing like way long time ago. Oh, you should have been. I, I mean, why not? Yeah, why? When did I, you start? I, because I already have a name. Yeah. And then it just kind of occurred to me like a year ago. <laughs> Like, I should probably do. And this. I, I should was take like, advantage wait, of this. why am I not feature dancing? Right. <laughs> I was like, hmm, I should be doing this because yeah. I would go to my well, girlfriend's yeah. shows. And oh, you would go to shows. Yeah, and we're never like, I should get on. There. And I'm like, why am I not doing? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. It just didn't really occur to me for some That's reason. That's funny. And I'm like, wait, I could do this. Uh, so I got with my agent. Um, and he books the Sapphire. Sure. So it depends on which agent you're with, which clubs you go to. Right. Um, and he's like, yeah, of course I can get you work. You should have been doing this already. Right. Um, I'm like, all right, let's do it. Yeah, Sapphire is the one in I New York. I've booked a lot. I've yeah. booked a lot since I'm kind of sort of new to it. So. Do you have, a fa- do you have a favorite club? I mean, I love Sapphires. They're just so easy. Yeah. And I've been to other clubs. Like, um, I went to, like, the Gold Club in Sacramento. And that's... Um, it's a really great club. Everyone's so nice. It's like a family there. But you do 11 shows. So it's like pretty oh tiring. Yeah. Like you work for your money. 11 in how many days? Mm, three days. I think wow. it's three. So there, yeah, you really work for it. But I mean, it's great money. So, um, so it just varies what you want to do. If you yeah. just want to do a quick show, Sapphire. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. If you love to do all the shows. Yeah, the first time. I mean, I, I'm so I'm like tiptoeing in, into aspects of. Uh, of of this industry because I have the podcast. It's like I, so I'll go to AVM one year, then I went to Exotica, mm-hmm. so I'm, sl- I'm oh, slowly nice. making cool. it to all the things. I just went to Sexpo in Australia. How was that? Yeah, it was fun. I lived in Australia for almost four years. Um, no kidding. Before I moved to LA, before the porn industry. Yeah. So it wasn't like a new experience to go to Australia, but the Sexpo was a new experience because yeah. it's being like redone new owner um, how do they feel so about cool. sex in australia i had a lot of fans go it was yeah. crazy like when i walked in uh see the expo they um we were picked up me and uh two other girls two other porn stars so there's only three porn stars that went and the rest was just about like the sex industry no shit. in general no shit that's great yeah so you it were one of three yeah that's great it wasn't like a like AVM where all porn stars like it was right. just about like the sex industry like sex shows like yeah. there were um, stripper uh, dance shows um, anyway I walked in it was like line of like fans Waiting to take you. a picture yeah oh, I was great. like oh I'm really flattered that's like it, it was nice that's oh, cool. really cool so how many days was that um, so I was there uh, it was three days and then the last day we did this mansion party um, for like a it was like um, uh, a promo um, kind of video yeah. for Sexpo. And we did um, like these funny skits. Like we okay. had a few comedians no come shit. in and we did like this tennis ball. Like we're throwing like dildos uh, at the at this comedian. And then... And he's pretending to hit him with the racket? I, well, yeah, kind of. I don't know. There was a few like funny skits. And then uh, this guy, um, he, we, there was... Uh, there was a pool and he had like a jet ski did like flips and in the pool in the That's in the crazy. pool yeah it's just different I always stuff see like these that videos. and it was yeah I can't wait to see it too there's, I feel like be, but you were there I feel like I would yeah. freak out if that happened in the place I know that they I was wanted at. us girls like the pool is pretty small yeah and they wanted us girls like right here on the side I'm like and like a lot can go wrong I'm like hmm, yeah nothing went wrong thankfully but and it it's lo- and it's super loud yeah it was fun it was like a good uh, a good after party yeah so, yeah they're supposed to have having another one in in November from Melbourne, so that's probably cool. um, probably go back to that one. That's too. great. So that's the cool. so the but as far as like w- when they try to put new sex bows in places, sometimes like the community freaks out. Mm-hmm. So how mm-hmm. Australia as a people, I don't I don't know how they are about sex. Oh, uh, they're pretty the open. They cool. Like it's weird because they're super super open. Like as far as that goes, but it's not really allowed to film. Uh, porn they don't film porn there no they'll do like small like companies just like filming for clips but not like they do in in 
LA, LA or Vegas. Yeah. So that's why I moved to be a porn star. Right. Once you started in the go. industry. Wait, so, how, yeah. so as a comedian, it's like uh, you have this sort of like this, this, this dawn on you moment that all that matters is comedy. What's the mm-hmm. moment that you go, oh, I got to do porn? How oh, do you yeah. have that? <laughs> right? It's, the epiphany. Yeah. I, like, I got to fuck on camera. What am I doing? With my life that I'm not fucking on camera right now. How does he have that? <laughs> yeah, why am I fucking for free? <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> that, exactly. You fuck so good, you're like, gotta fuck on camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, what was like, what was the moment? Like, what was you, that? You, you literally, you're like, you're like, yeah, I'm, the, gra- you're like, I'm the greatest fuck on on <laughs> the planet. I, I mean, have to. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> someone told me that. Really? Because I was I was a dancer and I was I was in Melbourne. I told you that I was started. I was stripper. And so you then, were a stripper in Melbourne. Yeah, in Melbourne and um, in and then I you just like got recruited one level to another. Mm. You know, and, and that literally dawned on me. Someone told me that, and I'm yeah. like, hmm, that's a good idea. You literally that should then that. that should be your 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 uh, your opening song should be your Drake song. Yeah. yeah so, so, uh, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, how's it go? Uh, I fuck for free. <laughs> I fuck for free. <laughs> I should so have good. to fuck I shouldn't for have to free. Fuck for free. That's you, yeah. That exactly. It just yeah. kind of dawned on me. Yeah. And then I contacted the agency, um, uh, LA Direct, at the time. Did you have any? Pro- you had no. You had no uh, roadblocks. No, I thought about it for a long time first. It's not like I just did it. Like, I, I actually did think about it for a while. Yeah, but no, but not even that. Not on your end. I mean, on the other end. Like, when you were like, hey, I want to do this. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They yeah. were like, they were like that. It was that easy. They're like, yeah, you know, get on the get on the open mic. It's right now. It's that easy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> not for guys. For no, girls. not for guys at all. But then it's not that easy unless you're, you know, good at it. And yeah. you know how to does make it last yeah because some girls are just in and out like right you know what i mean the but the career the career or actual or the <laughs> I mean actual the act of sex which one are we talking about uh no i mean well yeah in and out obviously but um but i mean the career like if you know how to make your career last and you're yeah. good at it and you're smart and you know how to save money make money that's a whole nother thing so that's where you're, you're it's, 10 years it's in a career you're 10 years in. What's, yeah. what's, like, what's the secret to the longevity of this thing? Because when I started the podcast, I, I, the thing that I noticed about comedians and porn stars is that basically if you just stay in it for 10 mm-hmm. years, you're like, now you're a veteran and now you're like, and now you're at this <laughs> other status level. Exactly. It's like you've been in the game. Yeah, so exactly. What, what does it's it take? Not, like anyone can do it, but not anyone can be successful yeah. and stay doing it and still work after 10 years. Yeah, how do you, you stay relevant? I mean? Like... I just take care of myself yeah. and, you know, people want to shoot me because I'm so lovely. <laughs> and, <laughs> well, I mean, well, you're you have not to have wrong. a good you're attitude. Not wrong. You're not wrong. Everybody listening and watching this is a fan <laughs> of yours. So we're not we're not going to be like, oh, she's so arrogant. No, no, no we, we agree with you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. No, I have a good attitude. I have good energy and I like to make people happy. Yeah. And I'll, I want to be around, you know, people who love their job, first of all, and who want to be there. You know, yeah. nobody wants to be around somebody who's like hating what they do and don't want to be there. So, you know, you have to, to love what you do and have sure. a good attitude. So that makes people want to hire you and I want agree to with be that. there. No matter, like anyone can have sex. Yeah, okay. But there's a little more to it. Yeah, I agree with that. So. I mean, I've met people in this business that get hung up in uh, in some of the drama of things. I've met mm-hmm. people in, in all other jobs where you mm-hmm. just, where you now have to deal with a person at their job and you can tell they don't like their job. And you're like, can you get somebody who likes their yeah, job? Because exactly. you're making this annoying for me. Yeah, and you don't want negativity in, no. in your life. Any, anywhere, right. Yeah, you, do, you want good energy, so I'm all about that. And um, yeah, I don't get involved in the drama or anything like that i just kind of stick to myself and have a few friends but i like a lot of people i just don't hang out with like yeah it doesn't seem like (laughs) there's like a there's like a porn click as much as i would have thought there was Mm -hmm. not anymore there kind of used to be but now it's i feel like not not so much yeah like like i said like you asked me if i know this person um and and it's funny because everybody thinks that we know everyone right. like on a personal level, but we really don't. Like, 
like I'll meet a lot of people on set, but like personal level, like there's not. Yeah, it's that not like many. right. Yeah, it's like I've been on I've been on a show with everybody in comedy, but it's like mm, it doesn't mean yeah, it doesn't mean we're boys. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, we're going to their wedding. Um, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no, it's interesting. Yeah, um, same concept, same yeah. thing. You know. But yeah, yeah, it seems like it is weird when you start to go to the conventions and see sort of the behind the scenes stuff and what the, the way people hang out. Because some people, yeah, people mm. would just show up and then they bounce, and it has become an industry where. You can be very independent because you can make mm-hmm. a lot of money on mm-hmm. your own, owning your own shit, doing cam stuff, doing feature stuff, and not mm-hmm. really asking anybody else for much, uh, mm-hmm. which it didn't used to be as much. Yeah, I know, like. right? Everything. You can do Snapchat, OnlyFans, like everything yeah. on your own. I can do it right here by myself. Yeah. <laughs> like being, Now, being in the thing 10 years, what have you noticed is the biggest change? What, is, what has been... Because there was no Twitter 10 years... Well, I guess there's probably Twitter 10 years, but there's no Instagram 10 years ago. Yeah. What, what has changed your career the most that's happened in the last 10 years um yeah everything like the um not just shooting for big companies but now we can just shoot our own things like for premium snapchat yeah. i have that um only fans like all these things you could just shoot on your own and right. make money yourself like ongoing income yeah which adds to it and that's great when once you have a fan base and um and then you can um you can announce it, um, advertise it with Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> and with Twitter, it always looks so easy. Yeah, it really, you know it really is. I, mean? I remember like, that's what's changed. It's I remember great. when the moment that I knew that Twitter has had made such an impact was when I think Shaquille O'Neal announced his retirement on Twitter, mm. and it didn't. He didn't talk to any press, and he just announced really? his retirement on Twitter. And then, and oh, then right. that was it. It's like directly from the source. It's like you don't. Nobody's That's your nobody's news. fucking with the words, right? You go on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. You go. I just put out new content. Buy that shit, and then it goes straight to Twitter, straight yeah. out, and then people start buying that shit. Yeah, you get your news from Twitter, I guess, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if that's where the news is, this this actually this freaked me out. I was I was like I was up for jury duty, and I really wanted it because I'd never been on jury duty. And I'm you a, did. I'm a weirdo. Yeah. Oh I was my like, god. It'd be fun. That's so funny because I'm like. And like hoping I never get it. Nobody wants it. Nobody yeah. wants it. Yeah. But you wanted it. I wanted it. And then so oh, then wow. I'm there and then they start putting people on the panel and mm-hmm. then they start asking them where they get their news. And mm-hmm. nine out of ten people were like Facebook and I was like, I don't want to I don't want to be on this. I don't no want to be on this story. I don't want to be with these Facebook? people. I don't want to be with these idiots. I don't have Facebook, but that doesn't sound right. Yeah. Well Facebook's not porn friendly at all. F- Facebook well, no, I'm starting to think no is not anything friendly. I no. It's no. It's like it's, uh, it's at this point it's like for my dad. Sh- and shout out my dad. And the thing, did you watch the uh, the Netflix thing, uh, Hacks? No, Wait, tell the me. The Great Hack. No, tell me. You be my source of information on Hacks. Well, I watch a lot of like doc- documentaries and I like true things. Yeah. But, you know, um, and yeah, it's just talking about how the whole conspiracy theory, I don't know if it's a theory or I guess it really happens, that they stole everyone's private information. Yeah. And that's how they make money because... They um they know exactly. I feel like my phone well, and my phone does. Your phone listen is to listening. You. So, yeah. Because every time I say something, it yes. has the mic, and then it will come up on Instagram. Yes. What I said. This I'm was like, a, I was literally just looking for that. And this so was it's a, like it's like that concept because they know what right. you're gonna be looking for because they steal your your information. And the biggest like problem that. is it? Yeah. Is it really? It's I don't know that we're. This is the debate, right? Is like whether or not it's stealing. Because for me, it's like I'm not that important. So as long as I'm in with the mix of everybody else, <laughs> then my shit does not matter. Oh right? yeah, I don't care if they do. Because some something they put up recently on Instagram was like a hoax. Yeah. But um. Oh, the any, photo thing. Yeah, right. that wasn't real. Right. But, but everybody thought it was real. I was like, I don't give a shit if they right. take my photos. I started, yeah, I started seeing who was uh, who was putting it up, and I was like, these people don't have any followers. Why? Well, it's not real. If they're putting it up, for sure, it's not a thing. Yeah. No, like um, I looked. At, I think it was like on CNN that said it. It was a hoax. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. real, and I'm like that. The changing the yeah right changing like the people, privacy settings. Like I don't yeah. want any privacy. I'm on Instagram because I don't want any privacy settings. Yeah, exactly. I want everyone to find me. That's why I'm here. Me. Sarah Jesse 420. I want here. everyone to see me. <laughs> Follow me. That's why I'm here. Exactly. What, More um, fans. Have you had a, like, how, when do you get spikes in Instagram? And this is not even for uh, the podcast. This is just me trying to figure out how to use Instagram. What do you mm-hmm. do that get that gets you spikes? Like, you're at, you got a significant number of followers. You're, you're, you're at hundreds of thousands of followers, right? I think it's like 251,000, but my I Instagram. Think, I think it's exactly 251,000. I, I think it's that. 
But my Instagram Everybody has also exist. been shut down a couple times. No shit. What was your max? What was your max? Uh, it's been, uh, I don't want to say value, but that's how it feels, right? What was yeah. your What was your max followers? Yeah, but last time they shut it down, they give it back to me. So no shit. Like, oh, okay. That's Did you good. get? What you do? You got on the phone. and You're like, who the fuck? I just kept reporting it, reporting it, and then there was this whole thing in the porn industry that um, there's like a union against Instagram because of discrimination right. against like so many porn stars. The Instagram getting, is not porn friendly at all. No, but we weren't showing anything. It's not even nipple friendly. And they were still friendly. Right. shutting us down. And then like, you know, other people show everything. They don't shut them down. So they said, oh, it's porn star discrimination. Yeah. Anyway, I guess they were like talking to the head of Instagram and got got some of it figured out well, i'm Instagram not really is also sure. owned by facebook so like we're, facebook, yeah, we're exactly. like we're dealing with the same problem yeah so i don't know they no, just like, do it just to do it i didn't do anything to like yeah not follow the rules so but. so 251 exact thousand I followers that's your max that's like your max that, or you were bigger than that before it was uh no before i had i was like growing it and yeah. then got shut down and then i had to start over i think it was like when i first started okay so this is, the, this is the this is the this is the pinnacle of of your instagram success <laughs> right now, yeah. thousand <laughs> yeah it's cool. get to a million it's so scary. follow me <laughs> it is sc- yeah follower it is scary so from this podcast you'll get three or four follows um yeah, exactly <laughs> it is scary that we care this much about this thing. I know. Like, I know. That's what's fucked up. Like, it is scary. And I just don't even want to care about it that much. But you have to. I mean, in our industry. Yeah. Any industry. If you're in entertainment, you have to. But it is. So it's like as much as we want to be independent and, and, and create our own fan base and do these things, there's mm-hmm. still, we find out because they can delete you that there's still somebody else that can decide your fate on this thing. And somebody else who can put you into the algorithm and make you trend and mm-hmm. shadow ban you if they don't like what you're doing. And it's, uh, we've put ourselves in this mm-hmm. position. I know, all, right? All the, all the yeah. dystopia movies, all the things where Big Brother, that's, we've put ourselves in that position. So what was yeah, the contention totally. of Hacked? The, the yeah, and, um, and it's, it's weird because, because we have to care about it because if I don't have that many followers, if I don't have that, I'm not going to get booked for things. Right. So it's like fucking with your money. Right. It really is. Right. And if they're not going to have you like promote things if you don't have a lot of followers. You right. literally get paid to promote. Like yeah. I get paid to promote a dispensary. Right. Um, and it, they wouldn't do we, that. We's legal in Vegas now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it has been for a long time. I wouldn't live somewhere it's not legal. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> like Miss I have, yeah, I have, I have, uh, I have people. Yeah, I'm sorry, pe- Jesse. Four twenty. Okay. There's people that have the like uh, the, the like the countdowns for when it's legal in each state. I didn't. I haven't been paying attention. Oh my god. Yeah, it's got to be legal wherever I live. So you were so so you live in Australia for you said f- five or seven years. No, um, um, almost four. Almost four years. Three and a half. So How four. did you get to Australia in the first place? What was the? I got. On a plane. <laughs> but what was the what was what was the reason you went to Australia? Mm, I don't really have a reason. I um I before that I was living in Germany. I was just traveling. Oh shit! Was Where were you born? Kind of backpacking. Um, I was born in Detroit. No shit. But I I was a kid when I moved there. Yeah. When I moved from there, so um no, I was just traveling around, just took a suitcase and went. No shit. When did you start stripping? And. In Australia. In Australia, first time. Yeah. No mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. I was doing like modeling and stuff like that. And then, yeah. And then I wanted to do porn, moved to LA. Boom. Boom. There it is. Now, and, and <laughs> now in how, Vegas. <laughs> how long have you been in Vegas? Um, it'll be two years in October. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. How do you feel about Vegas? What's the. It really is for me a, a strange place because there's a lot of entertainment there. Uh-huh. I haven't seen the residential side, I haven't seen the like what oh, it really? is to live there and be like part of it. Oh, I live um, in the residence too. Yeah. Home. So like ten minutes from the strip. It's yeah. great. It's like normal. <laughs> so what's yeah, so what's the what's the life when you don't live on the strip? How like it's just normal life. Is it just, just is, I go to the gym, I go like I hang out by my pool. I just when I'm not working, obviously, and then when I go wanna go out, everything is right there. Did you go right do you go to the strip to go out or are you are you yeah. one of these off strip people? Uh no, I go I go to the strip. No I go shit. to the clubs, I go to the pool parties, um I mean, sometimes I'll go hang out in like downtown or whatever, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you just—I feel like you're, yeah, you're, you're always just with it. Wherever it's cool, you're just <laughs> there. I don't care. Wherever it's wherever, cool, wherever, 
I go, that's where the party is. And that's cool. I, I dig that, too. I, I'm, at, I'm at that age where I go, where is it cool? I'm going to avoid that place. Uh, I'm not going to go there. That doesn't sound yeah, like Yeah, no, I there. mostly just go to, like, events or things like that if, you know, I don't go out just to go out really anymore. I'm going to make a leap. I think it's safe to say that you are one of the most in shape people in this industry, oh, guy or girl. Thank you for noticing. Yeah. I, I am. Mean, uh, what's your, I really so what, am. like literally what's your, <laughs> it, like when, before we walked in the door and after we leave, are you like just doing like just crunches and yeah, push-ups? Yeah, I was time? literally <laughs> just doing a bunch of crunches and planks like before you came in trying to get all <laughs> rip flicking for now. What, so what's, what's your <laughs> regimen for like, especially when you travel so much, how do you find the ability to, to, to keep to keep it tight while you travel and all that I shit. I just stay tight. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. No, I don't you know absolutely how, but do. All over. I just stay tight. Yeah. Now, are you? That's just the way I'm made. Can we? Can we? Uh, a lot of some people are because this industry is weird. Are, uh, can we talk about your age at all? Mm-mm. No, for real, no. We know you've been in for 10 you know, years. You know how old I am. I've we not, don't need to discuss that. I don't look my age. That's all that you matters. You definitely don't look your age, but but, <laughs> but but have you have you found have you found so I'm I'm in my mid 30s and I'm starting to find that that I um I have to do different things, but I can I now that I've figured out how to be in shape, it's much easier. Yeah, to stay in shape. It was just sort of like flailing around mm. in my 20s and I could figure it out, but then it's mm-hmm. like then when I hit that first pocket yeah. of like of like something went wrong, I had a knee thing. Uh-huh. Then it was like then I had to like figure things out. Have you found like a sweet spot now that now that you've been in shape for I've always been in shape. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just a freak of nature. Yeah? No, really. I'm just I'm just small. Like I've always been this size. Yeah. It's just my my genetics. But I find it very easy to stay in shape as I love to work out. But I'm also vegan, so it helps eating okay. right. Yeah. That definitely helps. So I just get Uber Eats. <laughs> Uber Eat everything. <laughs> Uber Eat everything when I'm traveling. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So wait, um, so. we are in a weird, we're in a weird part of town, but is there a good, is there a good vegan specific place on this part, in this part of New York? I ordered yesterday, yeah, from a cafe here. Okay. Yeah, and then I ordered something earlier. Yeah, there's tons of places. So you avoid yeah. meat. What else do you avoid? Uh, as far as food or yeah. <laughs> life in general? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Either one. Oh, uh, what else do I avoid? Uh, um, no, as far as food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, you said you're wait. vegan, so no so no meat, no dairy. Right. right Are you, do you, yeah. I mean. Other you, than that, I can eat carbs, like whatever. Yeah? It's, yeah, I'm just like naturally skinny. I have to like try not to lose weight. No shit. Everyone, yeah, everyone, and I'm a stoner too. Everyone hates you right now. I know, right? Yeah, what, yeah so. Right. so so wait, so then, so everybody when they when they get the munchies, this is interesting. When they get the munchies, they just whatever their diet plan is gone. So do you uh-huh. do you, do you smoke and then just fucking steak and just eat a steak because you're Ew, so high? Oh, no? gross! I would never. <laughs> it's somebody no, be, it's I would somebody never be, eat meat. All I ever all never. I want to do is get a vegan to admit that they eat meat when nobody's I looking. Never. That's all oh, I want to do. Vegan if you eat meat. <laughs> but everybody, but never. that's the problem. That's what everybody is like. Everybody's like, oh, I do this, I'm that, and then and it's like no. you're looking at their body and you're like, you're not doing the thing you say you're doing. When somebody's around, when nobody's around, you're eating ice cream for sure. So I, I, I just want ice cream. I just want a vegan to admit no. that they eat steak never, all the time when nobody's ever. When nobody's I won't around. even eat something that's been in the same grill or anything touching me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like I'm strict. You are getting lied to so often. You're like, no, I know. I always ask and like, I know they lie to me. portobello mushroom touch the grill? No, no, no. We have a no. separate portobello exactly. mushroom grill. That's how we do it here. Exactly. We're that's, very, we're very. That's, that's why I have to go to like vegan restaurants. But now they have like impossible burgers at Burger King and stuff. But yeah, what is that? That's, vegan. that's the vegan burger? Yes. Vegan oh, I didn't burger. know that. I yeah. didn't know that's what that meant. Yeah. Yeah, I'm vegan. not familiar with the, with the Burger King menu. pretty good. Yeah, but no, I don't break my diet. All right. No, nope. I can't, can't get me to I break can't it. Get you to can't admit get it. Me. It's happening. No, I bet I've, it's happening. no, it hasn't. If but you know any you of my friends, they will tell you. No, she's like serious. Are you anno- are you annoying vegan? Like, will you bring it in? Like, will you judge other people that are eating meat? No, no, no. I'm not like that. I'm not annoying at all. You can eat whatever you want in front of me. I'm just not gonna eat it. Yeah. What's the so? Why are you? Why are you vegan? I've always been vegan. Yeah. Why? Um. Just health reasons, um, and I don't particularly like meat. No. So, no, just health. 
mostly health reasons and <laughs> and now for environmental reasons because now it's like killing our environment somehow <laughs> yeah well, so, all the things yeah, you do, all they the found out all this all shit about it. I'm like, yeah. really? How are they just now finding this out? Actually, they're just now telling us. But you right, know, yeah, they knew it. They that's, knew it from the beginning. That's why it was in Iowa and all the places because we're not looking. Yeah, so we're not looking. Then they get to do whatever they exactly. want. Exactly. So yeah, mostly just health reasons. So what's yeah. okay? So what's the rest of the year? You um, you said you might you might go to this thing in November in Is Australia for sex expo probably. Yeah. Yeah. So Sexpo Australia. Uh -huh. What's do you go to? Uh, do you go to Exotica? That's up here mm. in a couple months. Nah, no, not really. No. <laughs> AVN. I do go to AVN. AVN yeah, in Vegas. Because you're already there. Mm -hmm. That's easy. Yeah. Um, is there anything else that happens between now and and the end of the year? Mm, I have a few more dance uh, bookings, feature dance. Um, I shoot movies. I'm oh, I'm having a magazine cover come out. Nice. It's called Strip uh, LV. Wait, Strip. I think it's just strip. Um, it's a it's For a Vegas, Vegas magazine. Nice. Yeah, I, I'm on the cover of that, so I'm gonna host a party at Sapphire. Oh, that's cool. Great. Um, have you seen the Have you seen the spread yet? Do you know what Do you know? What's I haven't going on seen the cover? it yet. I get to see it. I think Monday. I'm nice. not sure. Hopefully, I like it. But nice. I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure I'll like it. Um, it's a, yeah, it's interesting. When you do a photo shoot, you, like you kind of know what happened. I know. I'm there, like, oh god, I hope I like it. But like every once in a while, I'm like, really like picky like critical of myself so um yeah but i think that's i don't know that i can't think of anything else yeah, right now but that's cool that's cool so that's you said cool. you said you don't come back to this club you'd like a four-month rotation on this club uh yeah i think my next one i mean unless they book me again last minute my next one's december nice i think it's december i don't know i'll have to check that now <laughs> how does how do you know when you're done getting tattoos this is a question I've never heard. I know when I'm done. Yeah, yeah, I've never like, heard that. When was the last time you got a tattoo? I got this one behind my ear recently. How, how one was that one? And this is like a dream catcher type situation? No, it's a peacock feather. Oh, it's a peacock feather, sorry. <laughs> I get those two confused. Oh, so what's, a, what's, a sim what's the symbolism of the peacock feather? I, it's for, I, really, I really like where it's placed, actually. I just, I, yeah, thank you. I have a feather over here as well. I don't know. It's just pretty. So then, when, so yeah, when do you know? When do you know when you're done? <laughs> I don't know. Just whenever I feel like I want something else, I get yeah. it. I don't really have a have like. How long have you? So since you've been in porn, have you been tattooed? Yeah. Well, when I first started, I had a few scenes where I didn't have tattoos, and those were like ages ago. Yeah. Because ten years ago, it was like there was like a completely different like mentality behind mm. the tattoo thing like True. if you had any tattoos yeah. that was like a whole different genre now yeah now it doesn't really matter yeah. but um yeah i got them anyway yeah <laughs> so you, that, yeah so you wouldn't have changed either way you would you would have got here regardless yeah yeah i'm would sure it? yeah no some sometimes uh you don't get certain roles because of it yeah but then sometimes you get roles because of it so it just you know i don't get that because it's, it's like the, they took tom hardy in one of these movies and they changed his entire arm tattoo mm -hmm. into something else and they'll just make up it mm -hmm. out it's like i don't understand why yeah. like it's like if if it matters that much mm -hmm. then fucking it, like make up it out for the scene and it's yeah like, who cares? that's so weird i had i have one company do that like took away my entire sleeve yeah. on the box cover and it yeah. looks so weird. I'm oh, like, they didn't. They did it afterwards. They didn't even do it in person. Yeah, on the box cover. Yeah. But then in the movie, I obviously right. had tattoos. Yeah, so that's like, interesting. Do you think it's gonna sell better because they know who I am? Right. They know I have tattoos. Yeah, that's weird. That's really weird. I don't. Were get you mad it. about the fact that they did that? Yeah, it looked weird. Yeah, I was like, this doesn't even match. But were you like, you're not, you weren't pissed. You weren't like, well, this all, all this shit on my arm is really important to me. So no, you can't it's just not take like it away. that. I just want it to look good, and people, my fans, they like me because of tattoos, <laughs> right? Um, or they don't even care that I have tattoos. They yeah. just, you know, it doesn't make a difference, right? Some right, guys right. are like, I don't like tattoos, but I like but, them on you, but for on you, but on you. <laughs> I'm like, okay, sure. Classic dude Classic line. Dude Listen, line. I don't like it when. <laughs> My girlfriend, but when you do it, on you. it's fantastic. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Anything, uh, anything uh, weird or controversial or crazy ever happened while shooting? While shooting, um, weird, controversial, crazy. Hmm. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of things that happen, but to me personally, no. 
I can't think of anything. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not talking about other people. <laughs> yeah, I'm well, I thought you meant stories. like in the industry. Yeah. Obviously, there is. But to me, mm-mm. Have you ever had a run-in with a fan that made you uncomfortable? Mm, yeah, for sure. What does that look like? Yeah. Oh, it's just, you know, all girls get that. Yeah, well, so tell, tell me, tell um, me, like, well, what's, what's, what's crossing the line? For, for a fan that's watching that might come to one of your things, where, where is the line drawn? How do you... Yeah, just um, definitely there's, there's stalker fans out there. <laughs> So what's the just, yes? So for you, it's like the club respectful. is the rules. Like no, like the club is the rules. Like no, uh, like don't show your pussy, don't do the dildos. Where is the line for mm-hmm. you with a fan that you don't want them to, like how how do, where where do we cross goes immediately from respectful to disrespectful? What is your like? Hang on a second, step back. Yeah. Don't touch. What's the? Yeah, yeah. Just be respectful. And that's pretty much all you have to do. You know, you know what's not respectful. <laughs> no, maybe they don't. That's what I'm saying. Maybe they don't. Okay, if you don't, then <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Got some problems. Okay. Um, we I like to I like to pitch that uh, that that to to keep all the people that we like in this industry in this industry, we have to pay for their porn. How do we find mm-hmm. your content? Pay for your content. Mm-hmm. How do we do that? You really want to pay for it? Okay, uh, that'd be nice. <laughs> how do we? How do we find you? How do we find your your paid sites? How do we do that? I mean, I really like don't know exactly which site because I work for browsers. Yeah. If you like browsers, I work for Naughty America. I work for. Uh, do you there's have a, a do you lot have a, of different ones I work for, you so have, you'd have to like specifically go to those. Okay, do you, but do you have your sites. own cam place, or do you have your own content place, or do you have a premium? I mean, I have Snapchat? a website. I have a premium Snapchat, Fan Centro, uh, Sarah Jesse. Um, my website's uh, official Sarah Jesse. dot com, um, and then of course you can search and find like. Movies on Pornhub, I'm sure. Okay. And so all uh, so all of your so Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat is all what's your handle? Oh, uh, Twitter is Sarah Jesse Triple X, um, Instagram Sarah Jesse four twenty, and Snapchat is fancentro dot com slash Sarah Jesse. Cool. Cool. Uh, we have some content today from YouTube uh, with a with a live video. We have uh, Google Play, iTunes, wherever you listen to podcasts, we are there. If you're platforms, we're still going to be there for you. Porn Stars View Podcast, we're sponsored by Spunk Lube, we broadcast by the Demon Seed Radio Network. Thank you to my guest, Sarah Jesse, for doing the interview. I appreciate you. your time. Follow you. her. Yes. Go pay for her porn. Get her premium Snapchat. Go and see her at conventions and don't do anything weird. <laughs> Good Thank advice. You. Thank you.